Former Olympian Mike Strange is lacing up his shoes to once again run across a portion of Canada in an effort to raise awareness and funds for childhood cancer. In 2012, Strange went from Thunder Bay to Victoria. Now he will complete his cross-Canada trek by running from St. John's back home to Niagara Falls. A group of supporters were out Monday morning to throw their support behind Box Run 2. Mike, what's the motivation for the run this time around? Has it changed? Uh, well, it has changed a bit, you know, since I did the last run uh, from basically Thunder Bay to, uh, to Victoria. Um, you know, it took me 81 days, 3,149 kilometers. And uh, the boy that ran with me or kind of came in and came out of the picture, uh, Matteo Mancini, who had the same cancer as Terry Fox, um, we flew him and flew him out at different spots of, of the run because he was still uh, going through treatment. And, um, you know, partway through the run, he's, his uh, cancer spread from his leg to his lungs, exact same uh, way that Terry Fox passed away. And I never, ever thought I would ever run again after that, uh, the, the first box run. But, uh, you know, it's funny how, uh, you know, the story never ends, I guess. And uh, uh, last May 8th, uh, 2013, Mateo passed away. And um, so I promised myself um, since the funeral that I would uh, keep his legacy going. So. This May 8, 2014, the year anniversary of his passing, I'll be dipping both legs in the ocean in the Atlantic like I, I did in the Pacific. And gonna do 90 marathons in 90 days all the way into Niagara Falls on August 9th into our Heaters Heroes Run for Children event. Proceeds from the first box run went to Childhood Cancer Canada, but things are being handled differently this time around. You know, last time I did the run, we donated all our money to Childhood Cancer Canada, which was great. We raised over $100,000. And um, in the end, we were kind of the third party and we gave it to them and they give it to their different research labs and whatnot, but they took 15% administration, which I don't agree with. Um, so uh, Box Run Charitable Foundation is, is alive right now. We got our charitable number. So we've taken out that, uh, the middleman and it's going all the money, no administration, 0% administration is going to Stem Cell Research Lab at McMaster Children's Hospital, as well as all the Ronald McDonald houses across Canada. And as Mike prepares to run 90 marathons in 90 days, he is finding the grueling experience of two years ago to be both a blessing and a curse. I think it makes it harder, I really do, and that's why I'm calling for people to come out and run with me, because it's so much easier when I have someone to run with me, and uh, people are like, oh, I can't run a marathon a day. Well, we try to break up as much as we can. We do eight and a half kilometers five times a day to make up that marathon. So if anyone would like to come out and run with me, if it's one leg, Two legs are all five legs. They can have five, five of their friends, you know, running each leg with me, which would be great, eight and a half kilometers. And they can collect pledges at the same time for childhood cancer research. A fundraiser is being held Thursday night at the Hose Brigade on Dunn Street. Proceeds will help get Mike to St. John's to begin the run. The event starts at five and goes all night. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.